What's poppin' everybody? Several from four. I have one more Blaziken TCG match to show you guys today. So don't worry, we're gonna move to other decks. But it's gonna be pretty cool. We're gonna be playing up against a really strong meta deck, the Blaze Falan uh, Nanakadel. And there's actually a nice little surprise towards the end. Like I mentioned in the title, there's some sort of there's a little glitch that happens, and I won't say any more. But let's just say it works out really nicely for me. But anyways. Uh, this is going to be a pretty straightforward match. Both decks are kind of similar. Similar Energy Acceleration with Blaziken, that's what I do. My opponent does Energy Acceleration with Linda Gadel. Only difference is his deck is more consistent, of course. Our deck is more of a Tier 3 deck. So let's hope things go nicely. So at the very least, I get to open with Tertonador GX. That's good. We have one of the Torchics. I've got the Shuckle. For next turn, so we can set up the discard pile at the very least. And I don't have a supporter, but I guess we have Tapu Lele, so that can give us one. It really kind of sucks. I don't want to play it down against a deck like this because they can really take advantage of it. You know, pull it and get an easy uh, two hit GX KO. At the very least, if I bring out Blaziken GX, uh, Blaze Full On needs a few more energies to knock it out. You don't want to give it easy prizes like that, easy targets, and it takes up a spot, but, you know, it is what it is. So, my opponent is going to be playing first, and naturally, the first thing he's going to do is try and search as many Poi Poles. He opened with one, gets one with a Mystery Treasure, and he's going to use a Sophocles, a card I really don't like, but I guess they discard the Fire Energies and draw straight, straight four in this case, so works out for them, I suppose. Uh, so, that's what he did. And another mystery treasure. So he's probably going to get another Poi Poi, uh, you know, set them up. But he actually gets more shadow. So I guess he's going to favor disrupting my hand and reset his. Uh, he's gonna. He's not really going to draw because he shuffles four cards. But I'm going to get one less card to work with. So that kind of sucks. It is what it is, though. What can we do? And uh, I do see a decent hand though actually we see a nest ball so I can play another torchic and we actually top deck a nest ball too so two nest balls I'm gonna get a lot of torchic this way and I have the Cynthia in hand so we'll be able to draw a lot of cards so I think it works out better this way I'd rather I would have rather not played the Tapu Lele and with the previous hand I was gonna be forced so what do you know for once Mershado helps us okay so attach a far energy and we're gonna Use a good Cynthia here, draw six, uh, shuffling only one card, it's great. And Netball, gonna play that down too, so we're gonna get the Shuckle as well. So things are basically as perfect as they can be. I'm gonna be able to play down the Shuckle, put three Fire Energies at the Discord pile. We have the Ultra Ball in hand, so I'll be able to discard even more since we have three. And gonna be able to get the maximum value with Nitro Tank GX. Uh, Tertonador here putting in the work. So this is actually as perfect of a start as it can happen with this deck. You know, we play second, but we get to take full advantage of Nitro Tank GX, like on the second turn. Get maximum value, five fire energies in the discard pile. All of the Torchics are on the bench. I don't really have any wasted spots. We only have one Shuckle there. No Tapu Lele, no Vulpix. The Tertonador is active, so... This is almost like the perfect ideal setup. I've got all of the Torchics. I'm going to spread all the energies around now. You know, to each one, why not? Since we have a lot uh, to move around, might as well not give my opponent uh, chances to, you know, get a significant knockout. So, two on one of the Torchics, one on everybody else, and I decided to not put any on the Tertonador there. Maybe it would have been good if we put one on him, but anyway... I have another one in the hand, and we have a Lily too. Uh, now that I think about it, maybe I should have actually attached one to Tornador. But, like I've said, I have the Lily. We're going to be able to draw. We ha have a good uh, turn after this as well. So, things are looking pretty solid so far. And I'm going to need all the help I can get if I'm going to win against this deck. All the speed we can get. So, my opponent evolved into the first Nanagadel. And plays down a Blaze Falon, one far energy, retreats it thanks to the skateboard, and it's going to start charging up. 
and uh, he probably can't make the big attack just yet, but he's going to use Burst GX, get his free prize, and he discards a Guzma. That's great, actually. I'm happy that one of those got wasted like that. And uh, what are we going to do here? I have one far energy. we got to attach it to somebody. And, uh, yeah, to turn it over GX, I'm probably going to have to use his uh, uh, Shell Trap attack and Lily. Draw five cards, give me some good stuff. And we see some Blaziken's, but no rare candy. And I guess I see the Combuscan too, so we can slowly get into one of the Blaziken's next turn. So Shell Trap, I'm going to force my opponent to get some... Hit himself hard if he wants to inflict damage on Tortornador. That's one of the good things this Pokemon can do, I guess. And... You know, next turn, actually, if he doesn't heal, well, switch or do something, this deck probably doesn't heal. But if I see a Fire Energy, I can actually KO this Blaze full on with Tritornador. So not bad. Uh, he has four energies, though, so he probably can get... Uh, he's going to go for the one-hit knockout. Uh, uses the Beast Ball there. That's not a very good, very good card, but I guess people run it in, with the case of Ultra Beasts for prize manipulation. Manipulate your prizes, but it's not a good card. And has a ditto down as well, so I guess that it's basically another Nanagadel in the works. So, unfortunately, Tertonador is going to get KO'd, so no big knockout for us. But you know what? Thanks to the Shell Trap, Blaze Flan is an 80, is at 100 damage now, 80 and the 20 I did with Shell Trap. So we can actually use one of the Blaziken's, the Fire Starter ones, and finish it off and do some good spread on everybody else. So pretty good. I'm actually going to take full advantage of this situation, promote one of the Torchics so we can know we can retreat for sure. And going to use the last Nest Ball. We managed to get maximum value with them in this game. And what should I get? Let's get another Tritornador. A Tritornador might not be so bad against this matchup if I see the choice band because we can get a one-hit knockout on Blazeful on that way. So, Fire Starter, going to get the Fire Energy on the regular Blaziken. I'm going to use you to finish off Blazeful on. And uh, use the Tate and Liza. Let's draw some cards. Let's hope, hopefully I see some rare candies and Blaziken GXs. And, uh, okay, we see the candy, but nothing else. Anyway... I'm going to get my KO here. So, not bad. I mean, my opponent, before you know it, uh, he's like at three prizes thanks to the GX attack and the knockout he took on Tortornador. But we're going to start retaliating here. I get rid of his threat, and uh, he's going to have to get another Blazeful on to play if he wants to do something. Now, the good news is, I think, no, um, unfortunately, that little Nanagadel. It can actually kill me if it wants to. I'm pretty sure the effect of that attack is that it does 160 if you have exactly three prizes. So yeah, with the B string he just plays now, he'll be able to instantly power it up and get a really strong attack. It's crazy how strong this stage one Pokemon is. Doing very high damage, being self-sufficient, taking advantage of all of the Ultra B support too. It's pretty shitty. You know, normally a stage 2 Blaziken like this with 150 HP should have been able to take at least one hit, but I guess not. Even even Nanagadel is going to KO us. It's too bad. But it goes to show you what it takes to basically win against a deck like this. It's just all, all the best decks, usually they got to do a bunch of unfair shit to be the best deck. You know, it's like the, the deck that does is the fastest, has the most options, has the most power, does the most unfair shit, you know, becomes the strongest, basically. And I'm not saying this is the strongest deck, but it's definitely up there as one of the best decks right now, like in the trilogy of uh, best decks, you could say. Uh, so, he's gonna still use B-strings and attach energies on his dudes. So, that that's not good. So, maximum value with that damn B-string, that's too bad. And I'm going to use Ultra Ball, discards energy switch, and a Fire Energy for another Nanagadel. 
So that guy's out too. Okay, another one. And he's going to use Guzma actually. I don't know why he did that. I guess he really wants to... Yeah, he wants to get the KO on Tritonidor, get maximum value there. And he only needs to knock out one Pokemon. Now, there won't be any more plus with Nanagadel, since he doesn't have three prizes anymore. So I don't have to worry about that Pokemon doing 160. But it is pretty dangerous. Um, what are we going to do here? I can use, like, the Blaziken with Fire Star again, but that's hardly going to do anything. I guess we are going to be able to get the KO on the Ditto, which I was glad didn't evolve. But we got to get some Blaziken GX in this bitch here. Got to get get those guys out. It's going to be my only hope. And with only one prize left, my opponent, all he needs to do is just use another Guzma. And I've got plenty of sitting ducks here. So... Debate if I want to play the Vulpix or not, but we kind of have to. Otherwise, I might just draw it again with Cynthia. We seriously need to see a bunch of shit with Cynthia here. And I do see some stuff. We see uh, the Ultra Ball with the Rook Candy. So I'll be able to get my Blaziken GX out. And get rid of the Copycat and one of the Fire Energies. So let's get Blaziken GX out. At the very least, I have you. Hopefully you can do some shit. But unfortunately, I kind of, I mean, at this point, I'm forced to attack with the regular Blaziken. And I'm not going to be doing enough to get the knockout. You know, even with the spread and doing 90, that Pokemon is going to survive with 20 HP. So it's a little, it kind of sucks a little bit here. Damn it. Okay, at, at least we got the KO and the Ditto. So... Managed to get another prize. I'm at three, but my opponent only needs to knock out one Pokemon here. So all he needs basically is just to play down a Blaze Falon GX. He has all of the fire energies around. And uh, he is going to search it with Ultra Space. Question is, can he actually... Okay, another B-String. So for fuck's sake. Yeah, he can still use that. So fire energies instantly on the Blaze Falon here. So that dude is ready. So, this should be game here. All he has to do is attack with a Blaze Falon GX and he wins. And he retreats, Blaze Falon GX active. And this is where the little glitch thing is going to happen. He uses Mind Blown. So, let's see. Uh, you only need to discard three energies. Uh, but he discards all of them. And I usually do this too. <laughs> When I go with the finishing touch with uh, uh, Rayquaza, but he discards all the energies, doesn't get a knockout, and the the beast energy goes into his hand. Th that's what happened, from what I understand. And I'm like, oh shit, <laughs> wow. So I I didn't I didn't lose. So you know he gives off the surprise face, and I'm kind of surprised as well. So we put that emoji, but understandably, he's going to be pissed now because, you know, it's his game. He basically won, uh, even though we had that perfect setup. But uh, now I'm, I'm going to be able to get the KO on the Blaze Falon GX here. And he went ahead and discarded all of the energies, too, for the sort of uh, nice final touch, uh, go with a bang sort of thing. Uh, discarding all the fire energies with Blaze Falon. So he doesn't have anything in play now. And I'm going to be able to KO this Blaze Falon and get two prizes. So now I'm at one prize. And understandably, he's pissed. He gives off a little pissed icon there. And I feel him, to be honest. But, you know, there's been many situations where this happened to me. And, you know, even if something happens, you know, just keep going. If you have the opportunity to win, even with a glitch, do so. Uh, get the coins, get the packs, whatever. You know, a lot of times there's the connection and it disconnects where you were going to win and so many ways. So even though it's supposed to be his game, if I have the opportunity to win, I'm still going to keep going. I'm not going to surrender. And he actually scoops there. So he decided, hey, I'm going to lose anyway now. So my game there, I, I won even though I wasn't supposed to win. I don't know if they actually, if any other 
anybody else came across this glitch, they might have fixed it by now if it's a, a common thing that happened to other people too. I, I played this game like a couple of uh, days ago, so you know they might have fixed it by now, or I don't know. But anyways, that was what happened. Little glitch happens from time to time, but it's GG. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys subscribe. Leave a like. Share this with your friends. Say bro 24 was we'll say.